Bay night. And they threw me some pairs of tickets. So 450 the remainder of the week. And then those Tears for Fears tickets, those are not on sale until Friday morning. Tears for Fears and Garbage have set their 2022 tour. That'll bring them to Blossom on May 21. So those tickets at 520 all week. Uh, Cavaliers are off tonight. Uh, they split that uh, two-game series of the Celtics one apiece. 98-92 to was the loss last night. So they'll go to New York and play the uh, Nets, and then they'll come back uh, to play the Warriors of Golden State. And then they'll play the Nets here on Monday. So, you know, if you're a Nets fan, there you go. So Cavs-Nets tomorrow night here on MMS, 7.30 tip-off. Uh, we have a lot of Bureau Chiefs in places around the country and beyond who listen on the iHeartRadio app. If you're new to the show, I'm Alan. Bill Squire is right over there. Mary Santora is here. Hello. Um, Corey Roddick is in for Pound Cake, who's in Mexico this week. If you're new to the show, oh, wait till next week. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tom listens in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Jason listens in Glendale, California. Darren is our Bureau Chief in Honolulu. AJ is a new listener in Cumming, Georgia. Mm. And Laura happens to be our bureau chief in a town called Cambridge, Maryland, who is in the news today. Cambridge, Maryland has a... Cambridge is um, it's a town of about 12,000 people. It's right across the bay from an Annapolis. From Annapolis. <laughs> the Naval Academy over there, I think. So they grow all the oranges. The mayor of Cambridge, Maryland, is looking at a 100-year prison sentence Whoa. for revenge porn. <gasps> oh. This is one of the, uh, I think he was the youngest mayor ever of this town, a guy named Andrew Bradshaw. Boy, I will never understand revenge porn, boy. I just do not get it. Uh, this guy's 32 years old. He's charged with 50 counts of distributing revenge porn. Uh, he could be looking at uh, 100 years in prison. He was creating multiple accounts on Reddit and posting nude photos of his ex. Created the accounts using variations of her name and birth date. Uh, he posted nude photographs online the, this past spring, captioned with, wait for it, racial slurs and uh, sexually explicit language. I don't know if she was black or if he just liked working racial slurs in. I don't know. And he was spreading them all around um, different Reddit accounts and on various uh, subreddits. So he'd post them to like the uh, sexual humiliation subreddit or whatever. And that, you know, the one contacted police in May after discovering that her photos were in fact on Reddit. And she said, I was in a relationship with a guy who's your mayor and he was the guy I sent the photos to. And no, I didn't give him permission to distribute them. So now this guy's in big trouble because revenge porn is illegal in a lot of states now. Not all, um, but some states you have to drag kicking and screaming into the 21st century. It's Yeah, they're like, are there even that many people sending nudes, sending <laughs> pictures? They, they, they just they got to update some laws when it comes to stuff on the Internet because that's where a lot of things are happening. I didn't know if you guys knew that, but it is. Mm -mm. Also, well, don't you have stuff to do? No. I mean, a town of tw I know that there are some of these small towns where if you're the mayor, it's a part-time job. It's a part-time job. You know, they give you 18 grand a year and you're, you know, so I don't know. But still, like you ran for mayor of this town, even it's a part-time job, uh put some full-time work into it. I don't know what else the guy does, but Jesus, people have a lot of the stuff people use their time for. This doesn't sound like something you would just do in an afternoon. You're sending it to, you're creating different names and accounts and identities and, Jesus Christ. Because some girl didn't want to go out with you anymore. You gotta, you gotta be cool when you get dumped. Stop, stop doing this kind of stuff and like the stalking stuff and the, the making the fake phone number stuff. If you get dumped, just move on. But the stereotype was always that the girls were crying and whining right. and screaming. And it's always the guys. And, yes. Oh, guys always the guys. Things and whatever. Girls can always find a next person. So I get that. Yep. Guys can. Right. Got it. But, you know. But you're not going to find a next person if all you're doing is terrorizing the person that doesn't want you anymore. 
Well, your next person is going to be your cellmate. <laughs> For this guy, And he's yeah. going to have a good time with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said that the... Now uh, that's going to be some revenge porn. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor lives with his current partner and their two dogs. I wonder if the ex is even a female. Oh, yeah, she. Oh, because right? they said partner? Yeah, maybe she. Maybe they're just really progressive in Cambridge. Yeah, possibly. But I thought maybe I was reading into it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it was a female, you know, female photos. Uh, so thanks, uh, Laura, who is our one bureau chief there in the town of Cambridge, Maryland. I don't know that I would have seen this otherwise. But uh, have... sexual extortion is on the rise. This is a thing now where they're like, hey, do this or these photos go out. Have you been wronged or hurt to the point that not revenge porn, but where you've wanted to like bust a headlight or... Go no. vandalize something or spread well, rumors. Well, to or... me, those are two different questions. The first part, yes. Did it make me want to smash somebody's headlights? No. I, well, those are different. That's the same thing. I'm saying, have you ever been hurt that bad that that's what you wanted to you wanted to act out? That's not no. I've of course everyone's been hurt very badly, but yeah. no, not to the point where I was like, I'm going to go smash their car. Yeah. I didn't see how the two of those were connected. It's not going to get them back. You hurt me. I want to hurt you. I want to ruin your stuff. Eh, I don't want to ruin people's no, stuff. No, I'm not yeah. looking to ruin people's stuff. It's your stuff. Yeah. It's not my stuff. You gave me your stuff for a while. Yeah. You put your stuff against my stuff. <laughs> and you don't want to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. And that sucks for me because I really liked putting my stuff on your stuff. Mm-hmm. But I also don't want to be with anybody that doesn't want to be with me. Right. I've so never... no, I never... I mean, now, was there a time where I was like... I don't know. I mean, the weirdest I probably ever got was like... I don't, because I didn't have that many girlfriends in high school, so when you got one, you were like, oh my God, it's like your world was crumbling if you lost one, but it was probably like driving by their house. Yeah. That kind of stuff. But no, I wasn't going to throw a rock through the window or anything. Yeah, the closest I got to was driving by the house to see if the car was in the driveway that I thought was going to be in the driveway, and then that car was in the driveway, and you're like, mm, okay. Well, and you right. just kind of move on. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've never looked at a breakup as like, I'm never going to be with another person. It's never. I've You've ne- never had a breakup where you felt like th- I'm. I can never love somebody again. No, no. Because you the, always the can. There's heard. always a next person. I'm not even gonna lie. My last breakup, I was like, "This is it. I've never been this in love with anybody. I cannot believe that this happened." And I, I was I, destroyed. I don't for think months. that's. I'm not saying that's an unnatural reaction. I think a lot of people feel that way. But it is. You have to wait for your brain to to drain all that stuff out to become rational again. But it takes a while. I understand it, it does. A, it took I know. Me a few months. It probably took me like three or four months of living. Living in that, my life is over. Well, you were engaged, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's another whole level. You thought that was going to be the very last one ever. Yeah. Because you were going to get married. But you guys have both been divorced, and you didn't yes. feel like that? No, After your no. marriage crumbled, you weren't like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> no, oh, no, it absolutely like it sucks. sucks. Absolutely, it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> twice. <laughs> Corey's twice divorced. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. The and you're going right in a now. third time, right? I am, and yeah. so that's how I know I'm really, really sure, but it was, <laughs> right? Well, it was a laugh. No, that's no. funny. It's just a funny thing to say. <laughs> no, I, I think that there was never a, a question of, I'll never be loved again. It's like, screw this. I'm never freaking doing that again was more of it. Was that Were you like that, Bill? Uh, I'm still in the camp of not ever getting married again. Okay. I just don't think I'll ever be with somebody that I'll feel that comfortable with. Like, I, I don't think I'll, I don't know if I'll ever have somebody move in. I don't think I'll move in with anybody. Like, I just. That's sad. Why? That's sad. Why? Yeah. You, you, are you know, like, not everybody has to cohabit to, after a certain it's amount of time. It's not about living together, but what you're saying is that, like, I'll never trust someone to that level it's again. It's not even about trust. It's about what I want. He doesn't want to trust someone at that level. There's respect in that. But also, he might, stick. he might just not want somebody in his space all the time. Somebody right. like their space. He's not even talking about moving in together. The way that he's talking is like, I'm, I will never let my, he said, I'll never be that comfortable with someone again. Right. That's, That's realistic. That seems sad. Maybe uh, so. It's a stage. Okay. You know, it's all, you know he, also, is he also might be wrong. Yeah. And you know what else is sad? Uh, everything that I tried to do the, the other way. So yeah. it's sad either way. Yeah. So they, if you look at it that way. But I just, I like, I like what I'm doing right now. And it's not this important thing where a lot of people are like, oh, I got to find another person to be mm-hmm. with. Like, it's not who I am. Like, I don't need somebody there all the time. Right. And I don't need that. Like, I don't mind them having their own space and me having my space. And 
even like with my my past relationship that just ended back in May, the, the what she wanted and what I wanted were just wildly different, mm-hmm. and it and it didn't work out. And so like that that was one of my most difficult breakups because it's not like I disliked her in any way. Yeah, or like nobody cheated or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, it was just it just was like oh. You're moving in this direction. I'm moving in this direction, and that's that. I remember breaking up with somebody. She lived too far away, and you weren't heartbroken. Like you're never gonna love again. No, because twelve miles. I was like, I, I was like, we have it in traffic and everything. Oh my yeah. god, it was like forty five minutes ago. She was in the burbs. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't we can't and do I'm this. Never, yeah, I've never been heartbroken. Like I'm never gonna love again. Like that's that's uh, that's, that's crazy. That's no. I mean, it happened to me twice after my high school sweetheart and I broke up, and after my called off the wedding. I was like, I mean, I and was, it didn't last forever, obviously, that, but there were a I'm few definitely months. Like, yeah, there's a few months where I'm like, I'm not really interested in dan- in dating anybody. If for it a happens, while. it happens. But yeah, I'm not gonna be <laughs> to the point where like, there's no one else. Oh my god, <laughs> I did what... lay it on the ground like, I'll never love no. you again. No, I just go. <laughs> Why well, can't I find? <laughs> Everyone I've sucks. <laughs> got to give some money here. Uh, hopefully, you get to keep it. And it doesn't get taken from you, or you don't have to use it to fix smashed headlights <laughs> or anything like that. It's a thousand bucks chance for you to go fund yourself, so good luck. The Buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword BAG to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's BAG to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. Alan, I'm a guy. My girlfriend broke up with me and moved to Canada with her new girlfriend. No, she didn't. (laughs) (laughs) I hope I'm not the first person to tell you this. She didn't do that. Uh, You don't believe him? (laughs) I believe he believes it. I don't believe she moved to Canada with her new girlfriend. She can't even get in. They didn't open the borders yet. <laughs> I was going to say, search you right, bitch. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey I'm least... running away from somebody. <laughs> Please. One, one thing's consistent about that room over there where Corey is. They use the word bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Am I not allowed? No. No, no, it's everywhere. Pound cake uses Pound it every 15 seconds. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Oh, I usually save mine for scorn. There you go. See? <laughs> See? Uh, he's OG, lover. traditional <laughs> bitch mm-hmm. use. Yeah. Alan, guys creeping makes news. Stalker ladies do not. Agreed. D- true? Really? Yeah. We, we hear about crazy chicks in the news. It's not like it's... Yeah, we got that voicemail of the... Uh, <laughs> have a great Friday, MFR. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that was on my birthday card for my ex. <laughs> The lady who was having a um, she was having an affair, an affair with yeah. the Anchorage, Alaska mayor or something. Bye. Have a great Friday, you motherfucker. Yeah, right. <laughs> I will have a great Friday. Bye. Are you a pansy, Alan? What? Uh, yeah. No, I think there's always. I don't know. Maybe there's something there. I guess but. it's like phases. I guess when you break up, like when when my wedding got called off, I was like, "This is the end of my love life forever." You were also, in I your defense, young. young. Yeah, we. I started dating him when I was 22. We got engaged when I was like 25. So what's the rush? Well, we just. I just thought he was perfect. <laughs> I don't know. And, perfect. Uh, you thought I he was, wanted to marry you thought, him. Right, but perfect. Yes, I was drunk the whole time. When people joke about that, I literally was drunk for that entire relationship. Yeah. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I concur. I get you. I barely remember my Listen. second wife for the best. <laughs> By design. I love right. some people, but there's never once where I was with someone like, ah, perfect. Well, or you just overlook their flaws. And here's the thing, too, though. <laughs> no. In that relationship, I poured so much of my self-worth into that relationship where I was like, this is my identity. Now, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot am, going on there. Right. I am this person's girlfriend. Yeah, That's who I am as a that. human being. Yeah. So when you're in a situation like that, and then that comes to an end, you're like, oh, I don't know who I am anymore because I'm not attached to this person. Yeah. Here's another reason I don't want to get into like a super serious relationship. Having to meet their friends, meet their family, mm-hmm. and have all that stuff happen. You just don't want to meet any more people. What's the matter with that? I, I just don't want He's an indoor to. cat. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of the fun, yeah, though. If, if you want to have that kind of fun. You get to impress new people. Impress is... Well, don't you? No. You well, then no wonder you don't want to meet people. people? I don't what on a impress- first on a first meeting of someone's parents, you just walk in in sweatpants like I'm banging your daughter. Or are you no, like- I'm not saying like I'm I 
listen, it, whether or not I impress them, that, that doesn't matter to me. I need them to be someone that I want to be around. And so far, that rarely happens. You do marry their family. That's yes, the thing. exactly. Yeah. Right. I get that. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, no. you're f- no better! And just like, like, I don't need them to be part of my family either. Like, I don't need them to, like, meet my kids or my parents or anything like that. I don't. Yeah. I like, keep things separate. Some people, some people don't like their food to touch. That's how I feel about certain situations in my life. I don't just, want to okay. touch my girlfriend's family. Yeah. But this is really hypocritical of you because when I, last year, two years ago, when my boyfriend and I first started dating and I said he can have his things and I can have mine, why do I have to go watch airplanes with you if I think that that's stupid? You gave me all kinds of hell for not just doing what he wanted to do. So how is that any different? I Because I can be a hypocrite sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think, but, but I think, this one's about no, me. but the way that was like him trying to do something and like you were very dismissive of it. It sounds like you're dismissive of someone's family. Yeah. Blah, what blah, person? Blah. There's no person. Blah, right. blah, 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 blah. I'm yeah. dismissive of my own family. Yeah. So I, in that way, I'm consistent. <laughs> okay. He's dismissive of families. <laughs> hey, Tom, you're the guy whose girlfriend moved to Canada. That is correct. So lay this out for me. Uh, well, when we first got together, I knew she dabbled. She kind of played for both teams, if you will. Well, yeah, you thought that was and, hot because uh, you figured yeah. you'd end up getting two girls in the room with you. Yeah, as long as I can at least watch, I don't care. Right. But, yeah, so it ended up going the other way. I mean, we're still civil and everything. Like, I, like she still, like, Snapchat location. I can see where she's at. She's there <laughs> so why are you still in contact with her yeah we're still i mean we weren't it, it wasn't a she just you grew apart she, yeah like well yeah she likes girls we're still i mean we oh yeah i see her and her new girlfriend <laughs> sounds like you're definitely over <laughs> you, you don't sound too <laughs> sure yeah you don't sound too sure so where in canada are they uh somewhere just over between Niagara, like west of Niagara Falls, somewhere. I'm not really good with the geography. Of oh, Niagara, just but. over the border. Yeah, somewhere west. Uh, looks like about 20 miles north of the border. West she got of, just looks like out in the stick somewhere. Yeah, just inside Canada. Okay. As long as everybody's getting along, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, she left her Snapchat location on. So yeah. What's the I yeah. felt like the old uh, kid, you know, oh, you wouldn't know my girlfriend. She's from Canada. Right? Oh, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> that's exactly what that's I was. That's kind of what yeah. I was alluding to. Yeah, right. She goes to a different she school. Goes. Okay, good. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate the call there and the clarification. She got just over the board. I'm moving to Canada. She's like, we're not going to Montreal or Calgary. Where are you going? Uh, Canadian side of Niagara Falls. <laughs> You can, I can see you making out from here. I was just going to say, he has yeah. a really, really good pair of binoculars and can see from his uh-huh. balcony. Right. I moved to upstate, and she's right over there, right over the bridge. Okay, let me take a break. If you want to get a text for anything, 35192. You can still watch the show uh, at alancockshow.com, and uh, I will have those Burt Kreischer tickets for you after this break. I'll have them for you the remainder of the week. The Birdie Boy Relapse Tour is at the Romo Fijo this Saturday night, so if you Want to see that Burt Kreischer show? I'll hook you up here momentarily. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go.